Welcome to the spoken tutorial on fill objects with color in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, we will learn how to fill objects with color, gradients, hatching, and bitmaps. Set page backgrounds. Create new colors. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Let us open our water-cycle.odg file which we created earlier in this series. The files used in this tutorial have been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and then use them for practicing. First, let us color the two clouds next to the sun. We shall fill them with white color. Select both the clouds next to the sun by pressing the shift key and clicking on each cloud. Now go to the drawing toolbar and click on the drop down next to the fill color icon. From the color palette, click on the white color. Both clouds are now white in color. Click anywhere else on the page to deselect the clouds. Remember to save the file by pressing Ctrl S keys together every time you make a change. Let us color the other two clouds in gray as they are rain bearing clouds. Select both the clouds by pressing the shift key and clicking on each cloud. On the drawing toolbar, click on the drop down next to the fill color icon. From the color palette, click on the light gray 2 color. Both clouds are now gray in color. Save the file. To avoid accidental loss of work, Set the automatic save option. That way your changes are saved automatically. Let us color the triangle as dark brick 3 in the same way. Then color the rectangle in dark brick 4 in the same way again. Next color the sun yellow. Let us color the other triangle and curve that represent water with the color light blue 1. Observe that in water object, the outlines of the triangle and the curve are displayed. Let us make these outlines invisible so that the object looks better. So first select the object. Right click to view the context menu and select line. The line dialog box opens up. Click on the line tab. In line properties, Click on the style drop down box and select none. Then click on the OK button. The outline of the water object becomes invisible. Press Ctrl S keys to save the file. Now let us color the trees. Let us select the leftmost tree. Right click to view the context menu and click on the enter group option. Now let us edit the tree. Let us color the leaves as dark lime 3 as shown. Then let's color the trunk of the tree as dark brick 4 in a similar way. To exit the group, right click and select exit group. We can color the other trees in the same way. Or we can delete the other trees and then copy paste the color tree three times. Now move it to the desired location. It is much easier this way, isn't it? Press Ctrl S keys to save the file. Next let us add a shadow to the clouds next to the sun. So select the clouds next to the sun and group them as explained earlier. We can add and adjust the shadow from the sidebar. To do so, select the white cloud group and click on the properties icon. Under shadow, 
click on Enable. Immediately, various options to adjust the shadow become visible. A shadow is displayed behind each white cloud in the drop page. Close the sidebar. Now let us make the grey clouds look more realistic. Select the grey clouds and group them. On the sidebar, click on Properties. Under Area, click on the drop-down next to Fill and select Gradient. In the drop-down box, change the gradient style from Linear to Ellipsoid. Select the colors as Light Gray 3 and Dark Gray 1. And change the gradient angle from 30 to 35 degrees. Close the sidebar deck. The clouds now have a more realistic shade of grey. Press Ctrl S keys to save the file. Next, we will learn how to create a custom style. Select an object, say the white cloud group. Right click for the context menu and select area. The area dialog box opens up. The area tab options are visible by default. There are six sub tabs. None, Color, Gradient, Bitmap, Pattern and Hatch. These tabs allow us to create and save new styles. Let us click on the Color tab. Here we can see the Color section on the left side. Palette shows Standard by default. Active and new sections are seen on the right side of the dialog box. Let us select red color from the palette. Active option shows the original color of the object which was white. And the new option shows the preview of the selected color which is red. Below the new section we can see the RGB values for the selected color. R, G and B stands for the proportion of red, green and blue in any color. We can manually change these values to get the custom color of our choice. We will enter 200 for R, 100 for G and 50 for B. Here we are changing the proportion of red, green and blue to create a new color. Look at the new preview box above the RGB field. In the color section, go to the custom palette at the bottom of the dialog box. Click on the add button and type a name for this new color. Let us type the name new red and click on the ok button. We have created a new custom color. Look at the color section. The palette now says custom and our new color is displayed below. Likewise, we can create many other custom colors of our own. We can create custom gradients and hatching also using the tabs in the area dialog box. Click on the cancel button to close the area dialog box without applying the changes. Gradients are shades that blend from one color to the other. For example, the color shade moves from blue to green. Hatching is a shading or texture in the drawing that is created using fine parallel lines. Next let us learn how to import a bitmap into draw file. Let us make the water look more realistic. So select the group triangle and curve. Bitmaps can be added from the properties icon on the sidebar. Under area in the fill drop down select bitmap. Then click on the import button. The import dialog box appears. Browse to the location where we saved the bitmap given in the code files link. And select it. Then click on the open button. The bitmap is now imported into this object. Close the sidebar deck. The water object looks more realistic now. Select the white clouds now. 
click on the properties icon once again. Under area, change the fill option to bitmap. In the drop down box, next to import, select paper crumpled. Close the sidebar deck. This is a very realistic effect for the clouds. Press Ctrl S keys to save the file. Let us color the sky now. This is very simple. We just apply a background color to the whole page. Click anywhere on the page to ensure that no objects are selected. Go to the properties icon on the sidebar. Click on the drop down besides background and select color. In the palette option, select LibreOffice from the drop down. Select the color blue 3 from the available colors. Close the sidebar deck. The background is now a very lovely shade of blue. Press Ctrl S keys to save the file. Next, let me demonstrate how an object can have only an outline without any color filled within. Select the mountain. Click on the properties in the sidebar and select area section. In the fill drop down, select none. Close the sidebar. The object is not filled with any color and only the outline is seen against the background. To undo the action, press Ctrl Z keys. You can also access all these options from the format menu in the menu bar. Save and close the file. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to use color, gradients, hatching and bitmaps. Fill objects. Create backgrounds and create new styles. Here is an assignment for you. Open the mypractice.org file and color the shown objects. Give a background color to the page. Create new colors. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desicro Solutions Private Limited in 2011. The script for this tutorial was written by Nikita Missal from IIT Bombay. And this is Madhuri Ganpati along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thank you for watching.